Hello and welcome to Hard Way Learning, where we look stupid so you don't have to. Today is an exciting day because we have to install, we have to install the Bilstein PSS B14 coilovers on the Mark 7. Bryn was complaining the car is too bouncy, so the only solution to that is going coilovers with uh, mass springs and damping. So without further ado, let's get the fronts on. Next order of operations is a triple square for the pinch bolt along with an 18 nut. And we have an 18 for the sway bar end link up here. And then we are going to use this shock spreader. Get that on Amazon. Red shock. to remove the drive shaft bolts. You will need to wedge a screwdriver into the brake rotor and loosening the drive shaft bolts. Once you have the drive shaft bolts loosened and the bottom of the sh pinch of the knuckle loose from this thread assembly, you come up top, sneak under here. There's a clip here, and that gives you access to the top bolts, which I believe are 13 millimeter. That uh, shock spur you can also get on Amazon. That's where I got mine. It's, it's really nice because you can wedge it in there and keep the, the strut spreader for the uh, arm clamps to the bottom of the strut assembly, you can keep that spread while you're trying to wiggle the rotor around to get that whole assembly off of the bottom of the strut. These are 13 millimeter bolts. Now we should be able to get this strut out. And we'll have to reuse the, the top hat on the, on the new struts. Uh, I already have 034 lowering springs in here, so I won't need a spring compressor to remove my top hats, but if you still have the stock springs, you're gonna wanna press your springs before removing the top hat. The nut on top of the top hat is 21 millimeters. Um, I'm just gonna blast it off with my impact while holding the uh, shock shaft. So from the old strut, you take the uh, this top hat and the bearing, you want to line up that little notch with it. And then the bump stop you do not use because the Bilstein coilovers have their own bump stop. So we will take one of these strut assemblies, we'll take the nut off, the washer off, we will put our bearing on like so. And the Bilstein nut is a 22. And since I don't have the fancy doodad to uh, hold the hold the shock shaft, I'm going to use an impact. I know you all are gonna cringe. We've done it before. It's fine. Shocks move up, up on, and I'm, I'm holding it still. It's not spinning that fast. Leave that is all the way on. So now we are ready to install that into the vehicle. I'm gonna leave it at the height that they, well, <laughs> I might wanna go up more than that, to be honest. So we will, now that we have the spring and the top assembly on, we will adjust the ride height so they're equal left to right. With the shock spreader in place, the, uh, the shock dropped right into place. Uh, you have to make sure the little fin slots into the uh, clamp. Now we're going to jack up the arm to tighten the top bolts of the shock. We want to make sure, since my drive shaft kind of fell out of its home, we want to make sure that it lines up when it goes back in. So 
So in the rear to get the damper out, you're gonna have to take the wheel well liner out. It is several T25 screws. Bottom. This was a necessary step to access the upper damper bolts, but if you're just doing springs, you don't have to do that. So now we uh, are gonna take the sway bar end link, the damper, and the, I don't know what this is. Someone Can someone comment below and tell me what this is at the end of the arm? What is this? Bolt to what? Anyways. 18 millimeter for the bolt on the damper. If you haven't already seen the rear sway bar video, check it out. We got an 18 in there. out. Top of the damper is a 16 millimeter. But first, we have to take this 13 off and get the evapor evaporator canister thing out of there. strut out. Alright, so now that we have the OEM strut out, I'm gonna take this cap off and we'll buzz this nut off of here, which looks like a uh, 
Another 16. All right, so now that we have this off, we can leave this old nut on the old strut assembly. Set strut assembly aside. Grab our new Bilstein B14 PSS non-adjustable damper. There's a bump stop in here. You can cut that down or remove it if you're going super, super duper low. I don't plan on going super duper duper low, so I'm gonna leave it uh, fully intact. Let me come back in here. And now we reassemble everything. This, we will put the adjuster up. That way we won't need to take the whole thing out to adjust height. Uh, you can't do that on all the MPB cars, I think, is what uh, Shop app was saying. But you should be able to do it with this one. So we're gonna set that in like that. You wanna make sure this coil Hits the stopper in the uh, arm, so that means this will go like that. There's a stopper in the front portion of the arm. Uh, we're not going to use this little spring guide here because it won't match up with this. So what I'm going to do first is get the lower bolt of the strut in, I think. Well, I'm going to do the, the 16s first. And we'll Jack the suspension arm up. All right, so the top shock mount strut bolts are 50 newton meters plus 45 degrees, so that's roughly 37 foot pounds. So I'm gonna torque that quick. And now we. back in and hit the 13 millimeter bolt. One thing to note, uh, there's a little ridge on each side. On the passenger side, the ridge is on the front and on the driver's side, the ridge is on the back. You wanna seat the end of the spring into that ridge. It'll keep it from twisting and popping. I forgot to do that when I did my uh, 034 Dynamic Plus Springs, and I had to come back in here and readjust it, so just take note of that. Also, the stack up. Uh, cool thing about the Bilsteins, you can have the adjustment on the top, so you just need to take the tire off to adjust your ride height. Um, there's this little rubber bushing, then that guy, then this little other bushing, and then this is the top. This is the bottom, and that's that rides in the arm where that little vein is, so just be aware of that. Okay, rear sway bar end link is 20 newton meters plus 180. Rear lower shock bolt, 70 newton meters plus 80. Rear lower control arm bolt, 70 newton meters plus 180. All right, so this is the initial ride height. I tried to just kind of put them in the middle of their settings. Uh, I'm guessing this will settle more, but I did 36 to the top of the adjuster in the rear, and then 20, cranking the lock washer all the way down and measuring from the top of the lock washer to the where the spring actually like rides, 23.9 in the front. So this is where we're at for now, and I'm sure everything will settle. Can't wait to go drive it, but my whole body's greasy and I don't want to sit in my car. I will do a review video on what I think and also what Bryn thinks because she's the one who made me do this. So as always, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, get those notifications for updates, and see you next time.